Denied! Trespass no farther, or you will be met with force, heathen. I told you bargaining wouldn't work. It was a courtesy. They must face Azura's wrath now. Ah, we meet again. I'll admit I'm pleased to see you. You've proven yourself useful. Waylon has yet to earn that distinction. Helping. Is that so hard to believe? Not out of the goodness of my heart, of course. The priest was in possession of something I need until the Knights of the Silver Rose robbed it from him. We've come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. That's between he and I. Nothing you need to concern yourself with, little mortal. So long as you don't stand in my way of acquiring it, this can remain a pleasant reunion. You have to deal with all kinds of people. Ah, we meet again. I'll admit I'm pleased to see you. You've proven yourself useful. Waylon has yet to earn that distinction. Helping. Is that so hard to believe? Astute guess, little mortal. I learned that the cult is hunting quite aggressively for the relic that Waylon had in his possession, before the knights stole it, and I would very much like to see what has caught their interest in it, wouldn't you? I would not pass that threshold unless you seek bloodshed. The Knights of the Silver Rose declared their stronghold off-limits to outsiders, and I can attest to their willingness to use violence to have their way. They recently pillaged my temple without warning or provocation, taking the relics in our keeping and striking down anyone who tried to stop them. This behavior is nothing like the Knights of the Silver Rose that I know. I hoped a word with the Knight Commander would prove that the attack was the work of some overzealous recruits, but he's refused to see me or return the relics taken from my temple. I can offer more than blessings for their return. You will make a wonderful addition to our cause. Lyranth is quite powerful, but I doubt we'd be able to recover the artifacts entirely on our own. Visit the Wrath of Azura upon any of the Order who stand in the way of our holy work. I am Waylon, preacher of the Mother of the Rose. I live to profess Azura's love. She seeks to cradle and nurture all of our mortal souls. Those who rest upon her bosom know comfort like no other. Those who disturb that peace feel her thorns. She came seeking a relic in my care, one of the many stolen from my temple by the Knights of the Silver Rose. In exchange for her assistance returning the others to my possession, I will relinquish the relic she seeks to her. Fortunately, what Lyranth desires is not sacred to Azura, but if that were the price of restoring my temple, it would be worth it. I'm afraid I have nothing similar to offer you, but I trust gold will make for adequate payment. The Order was sworn to protect Tamriel from the corruption of wicked Daedra. This stronghold is where they lock away dangerous items confiscated from harmful cults. I never expected them to turn their swords upon my temple. There were no official ties between my temple and their order, but I believed we were on good terms. Some of their knights even saw the Mother of the Rose as a patron deity and made offerings on behalf of their order. I don't know what changed. I only know that the Knights of the Silver Rose have claimed many such items from Daedric cults in their time, and that they keep them secured in Red Petal Bastion. We'll need to explore to discover where they are keeping the spoils of my temple. Ah, we meet again. I'll admit I'm pleased to see you. You've proven yourself useful. Waylon has yet to earn that distinction.
servant houses. They're falling apart. Completely abandoned. Something is very wrong here. A journal? Perhaps this will tell us what led to this sorry state of affairs. I'd like to see what we can learn here, but you should press on before the Knights mount a counterattack. I can watch over Waylon. We'll catch up once you've cleared a path. Ah, we meet again. I'll ad this house belonged to the Keep Seneschal, it seems. There would have been no one with more knowledge of its affairs, except perhaps the Knight Commander. Buy us some time to look over these records. Destroy these intruders, and you may earn your place as bearers. I expected greater resistance. It seems the Silver Rose are short on more than servants. Oh, they're still here. Just not everyone takes to these toys as well as me. <laughs> Sanity seems in short supply as well. Shivering Isles for nothing. I'm wounded. Stand or save me. Hey, go! Quit kidding around! <laughs> Those froggos know how to stick a landing. I'll give them that. Where do you suppose they learn to fly? Describe your indescribable horrors? Such ingratitude! Where's the fun in summer if you know what you're going to get? What do 
really happened here today? A little of this, a little of that. Could you not have silenced that idiot any sooner? What is that odor? It smells like livestock and baked goods. Did we miss the fair? Well, that's not the only disconcerting thing in the air. The Seneschal's notes expressed concern with the Knight's fixation on Daedric artifacts. The Order even began deploying them in their crusade. So we've seen. Whether we must pry the artifacts out of a vault, or their cold, dead hands, is of little consequence until we find them. I'm afraid things will only grow more difficult from here. If what the Seneschal wrote is true, the Knights of the Silver Rose have begun to covet the dangerous items they once swore to lock away. The lay people who served the Silver Rose were growing more frightened of them by the day. They either fled or met with some more unfortunate fate some time ago. The last entries were long before the attack on my temple. The Seneschal did mention observing the Knights training with several Daedric artifacts on one occasion, before being barred from entering the fortress. They described the stonework quaking at the footfalls of one such knight clad in heavy boots. That imbecile we just killed reeked of the Mad God's influence. All those trinkets in his bag of tricks must have come at the cost of his sanity. What won't you creatures trade away for a little power? Putting myself in harm's way is hardly a comparison. What's costly to me is priceless to you, mortal. When your kind bargain with the Lords of Oblivion, you always walk away poorer. Still standing. Be proud of that. You defy the will of the gods.
Hold the line! Feel that? Great emanations from beyond that door. And strongly warded. Maintaining it requires great power. There must be a source nearby. The priest and I will search right. You check the room to the left. Was there some confusion distinguishing your left from your right, little mortal? Until we deactivate the ward on that door, we won't be getting any closer to our objective. For a ward of this power? An enchanted source from which it must draw. Several, perhaps. Once those connections are severed, the spell should simply sputter out. I have a bad feeling about what awaits us beyond that ward. I sense great and terrible power that it is struggling to contain. The Daedric influence we've seen thus far pales in comparison. I can only imagine. Something to do, perhaps, with the changes among the people here. Those we've encountered who have been engorged or withered by it. That's not something I've seen before. Priest believe he can stand in the way of our divine purpose? The powers of Oblivion ought to be worshipped. They are to be commanded. Two, Two shares, shares of the spoils, spoils for me. me. I got this. There won't be much left after I stomp them into paste. Awaken <laughs> fear! <laughs> Out of 
my way! You and me? We'll we got this. Too. I was well mistaken done. to share this power, to dilute it. Soon I will wield it all! What's keeping you? We already dispelled part of the ward. There. The ward should be no more. Let's return to Waylon. Dispelling the war did nothing to reduce those dreadful emanations. In fact, it only made them worse. Proceed with caution. The ward is deactivated, but I find that little comfort. The Daedric emanations feel even stronger without that barrier holding it back. We should prepare for the worst. I'm sorry, no. I've never felt anything like this while communing with the Mother of the Rose. These energies are vast, but undirected. I couldn't begin to identify their source. The only thing I'm certain of is that this can't be good. Let's find the artifacts we came for and be gone. The treacheries of the Knights of the Silver Rose are of little consequence to me. Hmm. Much as I might like that, the agreement I have with Waylon is binding. We must recover all the items from his temple, at least so long as he's alive. Take good care of him and you'll continue to have my cooperation. these relics. They're the source of the troubling energies I felt. They're twisting more than the knights. I need to banish the miasma before it gets any worse. It's worse than I ever could have imagined. This vast collection of items from Oblivion are seeping their energy into everything around them. All these chaotic forces are warping the world in unpredictable ways. We can't leave things as they are. I can think of nothing good coming of leaving all these artifacts in mortal hands. I am loath to admit it, but helping Wayland cleanse this mess may be... necessary. Mortals. 
Oblivion tainted them to the core. The corruption will continue to well up here until it floods out from these ruins. I must cast it out. Azura, I offer you this power. May it provide succor to your chosen. That did it. But I still feel more corruption beyond this room. Let's press on. Just don't forget why we are here, priest. By Azura's grace, we'll cleanse Red Petal Bastion of this spiritual rot. If you lead us to the other wells of this corruption, I'm certain she will draw the poison out of this world. Not so differently than one might conjure a Daedra. I merely called forth with my invocations and was answered. Instead of pulling something out of oblivion, I pushed something through, though I could not have done it without Azura's blessing. They're no less dangerous than they ever were. I don't have the power to destroy such things. The miasma of Daedric energy will accumulate again if these objects remain together, but this should stop the damage until they can be dealt with. It seems Azura deigns to assist us. I suppose Waylon isn't completely useless after all. Continue driving the knights back and we'll clean up after you. sure I can keep going. by the size of this collection. I never knew you mortals had it in you. Then you take us far too lightly. Drain fell powers to the rim of all holds. This horde will need to be divided and scattered, or this will all happen again. I'd happily take them off your hands. I wouldn't entrust anyone, mortal or Daedra, with this much power. Treasures abound and still no sign of what we seek. I'll search every corner of this fortress before I leave without what was promised to me. Persistence will not wear me down, mortal. 
If I deign to share my motives with you, it won't be for the sake of your idle curiosity. Remain useful, and you may become part of my designs. I thought it might have been simple avarice that led to the corruption of the Knights of the Silver Rose. But the truth is so much worse. Mortals who possess Daedric artifacts are often steered toward a prince's desires through their use. But even locked away, the insidious influence of all these items grew to be too much to contain. These dark desires crept into the Knights' minds. Most of Oblivion feasts on our mortal follies and darker natures. Its influence is often insidious. Convictions might spare us from worldly temptations, but they are not enough to keep power like this at bay. We can't fight gods by will alone. Items with your lives! It seems the only path is down. I feel a surge in the Daedric power. It's gathering. It's coming from behind that door. conquered countless of the prince's chosen and reaped the spoils. Now you will learn what it means to master oblivion. That looks like a you problem. I'll support you from the high ground. I have mastered oblivion. Now I will master you. from my grasp. Defend the Bastion with your lives! if it's the last thing I do! Silver Rose, press the attack! The 
This light will strike true. Azura shed a tear for this tragic end to a once noble order. Huh! Oh no, it's nothing. Mother of the Rose, we return these wilted petals to you. There. Red Petal Bastion is finally cleansed. This troublesome bargain is nearly at a close. Let's be done with it. That was the last of the Emanations. And the last of the Knights of the Silver Rose. I even see the items stolen from my temple within this vault. All the wrongs here have finally been set right. They can't remain here. I'll see them taken far away from this place, and each other. But that's a problem for another day. You've returned my temple's treasures, and done a great service for Azura. Take this and her blessings. <clears throat> I haven't forgotten our bargain, Lyrinth. Yes, it's here, among the rest. Does that satisfy the terms? This will do, priest. This will do. Despite the priest's obvious deficits, he was wise enough to enlist your aid in this ordeal. He is of no more use to me, but you, I'll be certain to enlist again soon. I'm certain I can provide a more enticing incentive at the least. It's not so much what I'm planning, as what a troublesome prince has in motion. Once I figure out where I, and this little trinket, fit in, I'll be sure to seek your services. Until then, you'll have to wait with bated breath. I couldn't possibly explain it to you. Admittedly, because I don't know myself. What I do know is someone who shouldn't have it wants it very much. And I'm very curious to know why this minuscule thing is of such great importance. At least we learned how the Knights of the Silver Rose became so tarnished. I will share their tragedy as an object lesson, so this folly will not be repeated. I'm not really sure. A Daedric relic a stranger dropped in my collection box. I can't for the life of me recall them. A trade for something borrowed, they said. I'm not sure what they meant, but I've held on to it ever since. No, but... I have no use for it. I'd forgotten I even had it until Lyrinth asked about it. She at least seems to have some idea what it's for. I can't say if that's a good thing, but it's the price I paid to restore Azura's temple. Returning Azura's hallowed objects to my temple comes first, but I will need to work quickly to make certain none of these other relics fall into the wrong hands now that the Silver Rose is no more. The Order appears to have closed themselves off for a long time now. Given the hostility they demonstrated, I imagine no one will come to pay them a visit anytime soon. That may give me some time to relocate everything before the Bastion is looted.